In this tutorial, I'm looking at the startable gesture requirement in the Quest system of the Space Virtual World platform. This step requires the player to play a specific gesture from their inventory. The Space Gesture system is a powerful tool for building single and multi-person gestures. They can be animations, but they can also include camera angles, timed audio effects and props that spawn and despawn. You can watch our series of tutorials on gestures to see how to create your own. They could be dances, emotes, combat moves or other custom animations and timed events. As with any startable in the quest system, I set the quest step to activity. Then, in the scene, I create an empty game object and I add the startable gesture component to it. The field I need is the item ID field. I can get that ID from the virtual goods script of the gesture once I've uploaded it to the system. Or I can copy and paste it from my item list at curator.sign.space. The user will need to own the gesture and then deploy it from their inventory. So you will probably be using the startable after previously giving it to them as a reward or ensuring that they have the right item in their inventory at the point at which they reach this step. I've presented it to my user by making it available for free via a vending machine script attached to one of my NPCs. Because it is an activity step, I have the option to auto start, which I'm choosing to tick in this case, because I don't want the user to have to click anything between the prior step finishing and the requirement for them to play this gesture starting. Once you've added the item ID, you can drag the startable into the activity step. That's all you need to do. In this quest, I have the user needing to do a secret move to be able to join Bonnie and Clyde's gang. In the next tutorial, I'm looking at the startable clothing requirement, which requires the user to wear a specific clothing item to progress.